So, if you'll cast your minds back to my last video where I was talking about my new project and yeah, I was trying to do a bit of a vlog thing and it was a bit rushed but I was really inspired that day. I think I said, at the end of the video, I think I said, I'll see you tomorrow. In fact, I'll run the clip. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Yeah, so it's been about three weeks. Also, by the way, start the script, all that lovely stuff. Um, try to log back into the account where all my script stuff was, and I'm not able to do it. I've tried it on multiple computers. So all my work has gone. Thought I'd give you a little update. Hello everybody, my name is Ethan Harper, and welcome back to Two Senses Media. So today is a bit of a weird impromptu video, I didn't plan on doing this video, I didn't really know. Um, basically, um, whilst planning to do videos, because basically I'm gonna decide, I've decided to make a video every Thursday. Obviously this isn't a Thursday at going out, but um, I shoot on a Thursday now, because um, I've got a day off college. Um, yeah, so I'm shooting every Thursday, and whilst I was thinking of the video ideas, I was trying to think of something comedic or a sketch I could do on my own, just a quick little sketch. I just couldn't think of anything and um, I was trying really hard to think of something but I thought, you know what, why not just sit down with a cup of tea, which is down there, you probably can't see it with this lovely little cute little setup doing that and talk to you a bit, just have a little chat nothing, I'm not going to be teaching you anything not that I'm any good at teaching anyway um, I'm just going to be having a little chat about as you can probably guess by the title, my favourite films. Because I realised that you don't really know me that well. Um, not that, like, I mean, you, don't pro you probably don't want to, but I am now forcing myself upon you, and you've just got to deal with that. So yes, I'm today talking about my favourite films. Now, as I've mainly spoken about films on this channel, I feel it's right for you to, guys to know what type of films I'm into, so you know maybe where I get my inspiration from. Not that... I copy anything, but I do get inspirations, obviously, as we all do. So, a few of the films I'm going to be talking about are short films, and a few of the films are going to be feature films, because I watch a lot of YouTube. I obviously watch a lot of YouTube short films, um, because there tends not to be many feature-length films on YouTube. Before we start, I would just like to mention this lovely mug here for the tea. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's about out of focus, but it's got loads of hairstyles on it. So there's a thing to think about. So the first film I'm going to talk about is um, a film called Fantastic Mr. Fox. Now, obviously most of you will know Fantastic Mr. Fox, if you don't, why. It is a great story by Roald Dahl. It, is a kid's, it was a kid's story. Obviously not only for kids, adults can also enjoy it, just like anything else. It's directed by Wes Anderson, and Wes Anderson is one of my favourite directors. Um, I think the way he composes shots and colour palettes he uses are just great. It didn't do so well because um, basically it doesn't really, st it sticks to the story basically but it adds a lot of more adult things and yeah, it's, it doesn't stick to the kids theme. When I first watched it I was quite young and uh, I didn't really get the adult humour that was used, um, the quite witty adult humour. So I didn't really like the film that much and I was actually quite annoyed that it didn't stick to the story because that's one of my favourite Roald Dahl stories. But recently I decided I'd give it a watch again um, because purely out of nostalgia really and I just really liked it. It was really nice and I, I, I got the jokes and overall I appreciated the film a lot more than I did when I was younger. The next film I'm going to be talking about is a little bit different. It's uh, The Dark Knight. Um, this is a quite a common one um, because it is one of the greatest films. It's such a good, particularly of the 21st century, such a good film. I'd say probably my favourite comic book film and definitely my favourite DC film, although Batman Begins is close. I think the main two things that are really good are the performance, particularly by Heath Ledger, who we'll get into a bit in a minute, and also the score. Now the film score was written by Hans Zimmer, and as a person who likes music, I thought it was incredible. Just the way he builds up suspense, with such simple compositions, for example, I think in the scene where the Joker is talking about a story about his past and he says why he's so serious, I think they're using 
just one note um, and just the way they managed to make that sound so terrifying is so impressive and Hans Zimmer is probably the most iconic and talented um, comp film composer of all time. And then of course Heath Ledger as the Joker, one of the best performances of all time, is disturbing in in an impressive way. So the next film I'm going to be talking about is Rocks That Bleed. Anyway, you may not have heard of this film because it is a YouTube short film by a guy called Bertie Gilbert. If you haven't heard of this, this if some of you have, that's great. But if you haven't, go check him out. He, I love him. He's so good. In fact, I think over there I've got a poster of Rocks That Bleed on my wall. I don't know why I say it. I think I know it's there. It's in my bedroom. I don't know. That was a pointless, I think. Uh, trying to be all clever. What are you doing, Ethan? But yeah, this film is a tale about two brothers um, who are trying to reconnect after a year and a half, and it's basically the end of the world. Um, don't worry, I won't spoil anything, but that's pretty much obvious from the get-go, really. Uh, and it's a really interesting film, because it's not your traditional apocalypse film, which is big action zombies sometimes, and like diseases and nukes and all that. It is just a story about two people just trying to make the most of their time. Also, the um, the main song slash yeah the title song really uh, is a cover of "Here Comes the Sun," and it's done by Tom Rosenthal, who I found through this project actually. I, uh, I saw the trailer and fell instantly in love with his cover. In fact, I probably this is a bit controversial, but I probably prefer. It. To the George Harrison version, I think it's got a bit more depth, and it's almost a bit ironic. Um, yeah, so I really love that, and that meant I start started listening to him, um, and he is a great, great um, songwriter and musician and just general cool guy. So my next film is a film called Writer's Block. It's another YouTube short film made by a guy called Kick the PJ. Uh, his name is PJ Lagori. Um, and yeah, this is a, one of his older videos actually, he, he posts loads, he posts every week. It's a very simple film about him struggling with writer's block and it's about two minutes long and it's just a monologue um, of him struggling to create something, in his case it is a script. And the way that the writer's block um, is um, dealt with is it's literally a block of wood, like a like one of those puzzle things where you can unravel it. If you go check out the video and you'll understand. Um, but yeah, the way that that's done is really clever. And the um, song, the, the piece which is used in the background of the film, uh, I love so much. And it's really annoying because I don't know what it is. And I've been trying to find it for so long. So if anyone actually knows what song it is, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. Um, please, I really want to know. It's been about a couple years and I still haven't found it. I've tried texting him, he hasn't replied because he's too famous. And finally, uh, probably my favourite film at the moment is Rear Window. Rear Window is about a guy who is a photographer and he is injured from taking a photo of a crashing um, Grand Prix race about Formula One in those days. All he's got is he's able to observe outside in his apartment block um, through his rear window, which is hence the name. And he witnesses a murder and then loads of things and he has to try and investigate it. The reason I love this film so much is the fact that it's so simple because it's just one location and all the shots of um, other people's lives are all from that perspective of through that window so it is you really have to sort of think about all oh, what's going on here it doesn't tell you necessarily because you can't hear you can barely hear anyone talking you can just hear them in the distance so it is really immersive and it feels like you're there so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed this video yeah like and subscribe um, subscribe would, would be really nice click the bell to get notified um, comment down below your favorite film um, it can be anything, and I will reply and tell you that that's wrong and uh, that you should like Rear Window. No, I'm joking. I will um, discuss that with you in the comments. Um, 
If you have any other questions, feel free to fire away. Um, if you have any questions about wanting to do a project with me, again, fire away. And if you want to post a hate comment, I mean, I don't want you to, but if that's what you feel you need to do, I'm not going to stop you. So, fire away. I need to think of an outro still. Maybe I'll just down this coffee. Not coffee, tea. I haven't drank much of it, so I'll just down it.